Good morning or good afternoon everybody. Today we're going to unbox my first sewing machine. This was a sewing machine gifted by my dad. My name is Diane, just in case I haven't introduced myself yet. We are going to unbox this sewing machine and also try to sew my dad's working pants as a thank you for gifting me this. The box brings a cord that you can connect to the sewing machine and connect it to an outlet so it can turn on. It also brings the pedal that you will need to step on. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. These... I suck at unboxing. Sorry, I have no knowledge in sewing machine products. I will research those up later oh those are needles that go in the machine now let's put everything back before i lose it the machine brings two sewing needles and it already has one inserted into the machine already so it has three needles i don't know if there's a difference between needles but i am happy it has three needles i don't know if it's because this is my first sewing machine but it looks so pretty. Very pretty. Posing for a thumbnail that I probably won't use. Realizing that I have no idea how to use this. Trying to read the manual. I actually tried to read the manual. But I gave up. So I looked up on Facebook. I mean Facebook, YouTube. A video I was planning to make this video as a tutorial how to set up your sewing machine but I really struggled throughout the whole time while watching the tutorial if you guys have this kind of machine and want a tutorial I'll, I will link in the description box the one I was using I think it's pretty helpful and that is my confused face you're gonna see a lot of it throughout the video and like i said before i was planning to make this video into a tutorial video so you're gonna see me pointing and demonstrating certain things so yeah i just realized i didn't show you guys some of the extra things that my father bought me for this machine which are this blue and white thread mix this, I don't know what color that is, thread, this dark blue or royal blue thread, and these pins to hold fabric when folded, also extra needles, I don't know if, for the machine, I don't know if they fit the machine, is it universal, uh, but I don't, I don't, like I said before, I don't know about machines. We bought the extra needles because we weren't sure if the machine brought its needles. And if it did, we weren't sure if it only brought one. So just in case it broke or something. That's why you guys should read what the box includes. Just a good advice. I don't know why my finger's dirty. What I'm doing now is wiring some wired. I think it's called wiring. Stay in school, kids. Wait, did I say wire? I meant thread. Into the empty container so I can insert it into the bottom piece of my machine so it can sew. All the things that I showed in this video, such as the threads, the needles, and the machine, I'll try to put it in the description box, but if I don't, I am sorry. Anyways, I got everything from Walmart. Shout out to Walmart or not. During this time, I was confused of why the needle was moving and pulling the white thread, but don't worry, I fixed that. During the process of fixing it, I learned how to remove the white thread from the bottom, and I also learned that the needle is supposed to be moving. Wow! Smart me.
And here I go, trying to thread up the empty thread container. To be honest, I was kind of, of amazed of how it works. I was really amazed until I messed up and I did that. Why? Why? I panicked a little, but my super smart brain handled it, calmed down, and fixed it. I don't know why I was holding the foot pedal with my hands, but it was pretty cool, I guess. Um, now I'm using these ratchet scissors, scissors, to cut the thread. It was either these or the ones used for cutting hair. And I'm not gonna use the one for cutting hair for these threads, although I, uh... But it messed up my hair cutting scissors. If I cut thread with them. Now I'm showing you the correct way to put the thread container thingy into the bottom piece. And if you're still struggling how to put it, the little plastic thing has instructions of how to do it. Oh, why is that dirty? Has instructions to say how to put it. You Look, there you see. You see? This is what I like about this machine. It has little symbols around the machine um, indicating you and guiding you in how to insert everything correctly. You guys, everything was going perfectly good until this part, the part where the thread is supposed to go through the needle. And that was giving me a headache. Like, at school, using the microscope was giving me a headache. But this, this was much more harder. I am not lying to you guys. I struggled more than five minutes trying to put that thread through that needle and, and I almost cried this was the most difficult part for me because I was struggling how to get that there I didn't know if I should remove something so I was so happy when I finally did make it through and now to make sure that I put everything correctly, I was looking for a piece of fabric, but I couldn't find a pretty one, so I had to use one of my sister's old socks. I mean, it don't fit their foot anymore, so it's okay. And don't worry, it might look dirty, but it's actually clean. Pretty clean. Well, I don't know about the pretty, but it is clean. to work i saw this dirty oh don't look at that this dirty sock see it's one of my sister's socks um now i'm gonna try to 
so my dad's pants. Um, Oh, let me find them. These are my dad's working pants. Um, see? Hopefully it works. Be honest, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I bought, like you guys saw earlier, um, my dad bought me these things to hold the fabric in place. I don't know if I should use that. I don't know. That's too advanced for me. And I don't know if um this machine can take that. It's a little bit thicker than, than the sock and this is for like beginners. So it's okay. We'll move the machine over here. Um I have the pedal on my chair because I sit like this. On my table, on my chair. I don't know if anybody else needs to sit just like that. Oh, and I need to buy some fabric. So there's good. This made the fabric all nasty. And because I cut the the wire, I don't know if you can see it. The wire here, here, was this part where it's supposed to cut fabric. I don't know, I don't think I cut it right, that it's all nasty. It looks like if my dog chewed it. My dog didn't chew it. The place work. Okay, I'm gonna lower the... Ah, it's not me. Oh, you guys can't see. Careful when you step on the foot because you stepped on it. Oh, I'm going all crooked. All right, I'm all lift it up. here you can see the old sewing which is that dark one and then you can also see the new one which is the light one which was crooked but i made it straight congrats and there now dad can wear his pants again with his crooked line <laughs> Time to put everything away. If you made it to the end of this video, which is here kind of, I want to say thank you very much for watching the full video. I really appreciate it. Also, um, if you like the video, enjoy the video for whatever reason, like and subscribe. I would like to have friends and people to talk to in the comments. So thank you very much. Love you. See you next time. Hello?